can't hurt to go out one more time Let him hold my hand and fall for his every line But it did I thought it can't hurt to finally open up Tell him all my secrets and then fall in love Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Thanks for calling the Belize Hotel. How might I assist you? Yes. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Monica Taylor, and I'm calling about a reservation my husband made on February 8th. All right. Happy to help you. What was the name of the suite? Marcus Taylor. You guys had the honeymoon suite for two, couple's horseback ride, and the couple's forehand massage. Was everything okay with your stay? <laughs> Hello, Miss Taylor, are you there? I wanted to know. Uh, thank you. Baby, what are you doing? I made your dinner. Oh, this looks good, thank you. You seem down. Bad day at work today? Work? It was fine, actually. How was your day? Well, got some good news. I got a promotion today. That's good. Now, babe, why did you ask me to pay the mortgage this month? Well, we did have some cutbacks at work, so I ain't make as much this month as I did last month. But I got a promotion, so we're going to get right back on track. <coughs> Or was it the $5,000 honeymoon getaway you went on a few days ago? I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what this is? Hello? 
listen, I, I can explain this. Explain what, Marcus? How you left your wife and went on a honeymoon with another woman? Or the fact that you had me pay all the bills to fund your getaway trip? It's not exactly what it looks like. Then what is it, Marcus? It looks plain as day to me. It was Randy. What do you mean, Randy? Wait a minute. Are you saying that you took Randy on a honeymoon? What? No. I'm saying I booked Randy a hotel for him and this girl that he's been dating. So why couldn't Randy book his own hotel? All right, there was something wrong with his bank. He couldn't access his account. So I booked it using my debit card. The problem is these hotels want an ID to match the debit card, so I booked it all under my name. I didn't think it was a big deal. Do you think I'm stupid, Marcus? Woman, what the hell is wrong with you? You don't tell me that stupid lie and it's best for me to believe you. Marcus, do you think I'm stupid? Monica, Monica, what's going on? Why are you guys fighting? This piece of trash took some Jezebel on a honeymoon. Why I'm getting a whole bit of a piece. What? Why would you do something like that to my sister? I didn't do anything. I tried to explain this to her, but your sister has anger issues. Really, Marcus? Monica, how do you know that he did that? I found the receipt of the hotel in his pocket. And I called the hotel and verified. I already told you. That was not me, that was Randy. Really, Marcus? That's the best you could come up with? You really expect us to believe that? <sighs> you know what? No matter what I say, y'all not gonna believe me anyway. So I'm out. Hey, Marcus. What? Uh, what the hell is wrong with you people? My sister loves you. And you think you have the right to hurt her like that? Don't you ever let something happen like that again. This is my only sister and I love her to death and I will gladly go to jail for her. You know what? Y'all are crazy. Oh, I'll show you crazy. Man, I'm out. Why don't you stick around, Marcus? You know you ain't have to slap me that hard, right? 
turns me on. Whatever. So is she in there sleeping? Like a baby. Good, good, good. That was sloppy. How could you forget to throw away the receipt? And what was it doing in your pocket in the first place? I know, I know, I messed up. Look, it must have slipped my mind to throw the receipt away. You gotta be more careful. If she found out it was me, my whole life would be ruined. I know, I know, I'm sorry, baby. I really am. You know what? <laughs> Soon, this will be all over. And we'll be able to be together. Did you get the insurance policy? Yes, I did. But we gotta let it build up. We can't be in a country when this happens. We wouldn't want anything to fall back on us. Hi. Right. So, how are we gonna do it? Well, <laughs> I know a guy, and he's gonna make it seem like it's a robbery and she got killed. But the key is, he's gonna make sure he does it while she's on the road. I like it. I think it'll work. <laughs> oh, trust me, it will. Stephanie. Well, good morning, sleepyhead. Good morning. You sleep okay? I slept okay, but you, on the other hand, slept like a baby. I heard you snoring like a pig. What do you mean you heard me snore? Oh, you left your phone in my room. It rung all night. I tried to bring it to you, but when I opened up the door, I heard you snoring. So I figured I'd just give it to him in the morning. So you didn't come in? Mm -mm, no, I just went back to bed. Okay. So you still gonna help me with my car note? Yes. You can pay for it with this card. Thank you. Oh no. Go brush your teeth. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Well, I have to get to work. Okay. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have fun. Finally, you here. Hey. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. No, no problem. So, this is him? This is him. Ron, meet Stephanie. Well, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So, what's the plan? Well, my plan is to take her out in a couple of months. Quiet and easily. And I promise she's not going to suffer. Wait. Why do we have to wait a few months? Why not a couple weeks? Well, you just took the policy out. And if I take her out too quickly, 
the police are going to be able to link you to it. And if you go to prison, I don't get paid. And that, that's a waste of my time. So even if we're out of the country, how are they going to trace that back to us? Listen, you're not the first to do this, OK? People do this every day. The cops aren't stupid. They know that's exactly what people do that want to seem innocent. Think about it. Her husband just took out a policy on her, and then she just happens to get killed a week later? While her husband and her sister are on vacation in another country? That's a hell of a coincidence, don't you think? Listen, we're going to do this my way, or I'm out. So what's it going to be? You know what? You got a deal. You're damn right we do. And what about you? Yeah, we got a deal. Cool. You'll be hearing from me real soon. Oh yeah. You said you and your wife been fighting? Why don't you do everything in your power to mend that? Okay? Okay, got it. What you think? You really think we can trust him? I don't know, but they say he's the best out there. I don't know, because if this blows up, we're done for. Yeah, if it does, we're f Hey, baby. I'm glad you're home. I made us dinner. Monica! Monica, Monica, wait, please, please, listen. I'm sorry about what I did yesterday. I know I was wrong. I just want to make things right, please. Monica, can we talk about it over dinner? Monica, please, 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 please. I made every bite with love. All right, I'm gonna go grab the one, okay? I got a bottle of your favorite wine. the meaning of all of this, Marcus? Look, Monica, um, you know, I've had some time to think back and reflect over things, and, you know, I realized what's important to me. <laughs> Baby, the most important thing in this world is my love for you. You know, I went to Tony's house yesterday to play cards. At least that's what I thought I was doing. And I sat in my car for four hours, just being so sorry and, and regretful of how bad I hurt you. All I want is my wife back. And I'm sorry, and I just want you to forgive me. I, I promise. I promise you, I can be the man that you need me to be and that you want me to be. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Monica. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> and I just want you to, <sighs> Valentine's Day is coming up. And it would give me great pleasure if you could spend it with me. Please. <laughs> I even made reservations at your favorite restaurant. So will you please do me the honor of spending Valentine's Day with me, please? Okay, I will. 
I have to go to work tomorrow, but I will get off early and we can have the rest of the day to ourselves. That's all I want, baby. I love you so much. I love you too. Thanks, and have a great day. Thank you. And by the way, happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's. Monica, can you please do me a favor? What is it, girl? If you could please cover my shift, I'll pay you. Sarah, I am so sorry. I can't today. Me and Marcus already have plans. I'm gonna stop by Trisha's and get our daughter, and I'm meeting him at La Bay. What? Didn't you guys just have a fight last night? Yep. So how did you guys turn into Romeo and Juliet so fast? <laughs> he did and said some amazing things to me last night. And I didn't have a choice but to forgive him. Seems like some good doing took place. Oh, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Well, I hope you have fun. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Hello, how are you? Hello, how may I help you? Good, I'm um, just looking for something. Right this way, she should take care of you. Good evening, ma'am. Hello. I'm here um, meeting with my husband. Okay, and what's his name? It's Marcus Taylor. Okay. Uh, I see you right here, but he hasn't checked in yet. What? Are you sure? Mm, yes, ma'am, but no worries. I can take you to your table if you're ready. That would be perfect. Okay, here, right this way. Okay, here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can get for you? Maybe something to drink while you wait? Um, yes, a sweet glass of wine. I'll have the way to bring it right over. All right, thank you.
has been forwarded to Okay, we're gonna need your insurance from both of you. Okay, and we're gonna be doing a breathalyzer test. A breathalyzer? Yeah. Sorry, ma'am, this road's gonna be closed off for a while. It's fine, officer. I live right around the block. I'll just take the back road. Okay, be safe. Hey, hey, where's my phone? Come on, where's my phone? Here, why are you acting like that? Oh, shoot! Marcus, what's going on? <sighs> I was supposed to have dinner with Monica, but I forgot it. Oh, shoot, I forgot about that too. How are you gonna play this one off? I don't know, I'm gonna have to make up a story about work or something. Did you know that you're off? I did tell her, but I'm gonna just come up with a good story. Marcus, we are coming up with one too many slip ups. <sighs> Are you sure this isn't a sign that we should quit while we're ahead? Listen, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta... Shoot! I'm so screwed! Listen. I'm gonna talk to you later, alright? I gotta go, though. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I'll talk to you later. Baby, I'm sorry about today. I got caught up at work. It got hectic and my boss asked me to work some longer hours. So I'm very sorry. 
I accidentally left my phone in the locker, so I didn't even see you calling me. Listen, baby, I can make it up to you. It's still early in the evening. We could still make it to a nice restaurant. You're a liar. What? You're a liar, Marcus. Baby, I, I, I promise you, I will call Randy right now. Am I your fool? Wait, what? Baby, no, you are not a fool. Then why do you continue to play with my emotions? Why do you continue to lie? Baby, you got it all wrong. You know what? It's bad enough that you're cheating on me. But what hurts so much is that it's with someone that's very close to me. What, what, what do you mean? Don't play with me, Mark. You know exactly what I mean. There's just one thing I want to know. How long has this been going on? How long has this been going on? You know what, Marcus? You ain't nothing but a liar. Look at you. Look at yourself. I'm filing for a divorce. Baby, baby, please, listen. We can work this out. Give you a chance. That's all you ask for is chances. One minute is... I'm sorry, baby. I'll never do it again. And the next is, give me another chance. How many chances do you want, Marcus? <laughs> you really think I could give you another chance after this? You really think I'm that kind of fool, huh? I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I don't even know what I was doing. I was confused and frustrated, we haven't even had sex in months. You haven't even looked at me or touched me. Of course not, Marcus. You're sleeping with the entire world. It's nasty. And I don't want to catch anything. <laughs> you, you can't be satisfied. All throughout our marriage, you have cheated and had affairs secret affairs with so many different women, and now you take it to our home? You're sleeping with my neighbor and my best friend. Wait, what? Your neighbor? You think I'm sleeping with your neighbor? Are you gonna lie about that too, huh? <laughs> Baby, you got it all wrong. I got what wrong? I saw your car parked in her driveway. Maya has been my best friend since high school, and you knew that, and you slept with her anyway. My husband and my best friend. This is unbelievable. Baby, I can explain why my car was in her driveway. Shut up, Marcus. I don't want to hear it. I'm tired of you explaining and pretending. This is where it stops, Marcus. Get out of my room! Baby. Get out! and he just do what he do. I guess Marcus will be Marcus. What did he do? 
He's sleeping with Maya. Oh, wait, what? On my way home, I took the back street. And guess where I saw Marcus' car? Parked in Maya's driveway. Now I know where he goes when he doesn't come home at night. I told you he was no good, I swear to you. You give him so many chances and you show him so much love and he just defies you every chance he gets. <laughs> this is where it ends. I'm getting a divorce. Whoa, sis, that, that's a big deal. Maybe you should think about it for a little bit before taking such a big step like that. There's nothing to think about. Ten years of the same stuff. I'm tired. I know, I'm just, maybe you should think about it for a little bit. I'll be here for you all the way. <laughs> That'll be 45, 60. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, bestie. What's up? Monica. Hello? Monica. Can I help you? Did I do something wrong? Why is Monica acting that way? Maya, you know exactly why. I thought we were friends. You know, I see you ain't nothing but a backstabber. And I want nothing to do with you. Wait, what are you talking about? What happened? What did I do? You know what? I think it's best you leave the store. You're not welcome here. What? What's going on? Monica, talk to me. What's wrong? I'm sorry, girl. It's okay. I just don't understand. How can you sleep with someone's husband and then look them in the face and act like you don't know why they mad? The things people do amazes me. She knew what she did. And then she just walks up in here like we're best friends. I never want to see or talk to her again. Don't let her get you down, okay? <laughs> Hello? Stephanie, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Something weird just happened. What? I just went inside Monica's store and talked to her and she wouldn't even speak to me. It seemed like she just, she's mad at me for some reason or something, I don't know. I don't understand. Did something happen at the store? No, I just walked in and I said hey to her. And then she ignored me. And then she got to calling me a backstabber and a whole bunch of other stuff. Did she say anything? No, I haven't heard her say anything about you. I'm confused. I've never seen her act like this with me before. I wouldn't take it personal. She's been kind of going through it lately, so she's a little moody. But whenever she gets home, I'll ask her about it and figure out what's wrong. Okay.
What episode is this now? Is this the episode where Monica forgives and falls back in love with Marcus again? It's a little redundant. It's been played out too many times. So whatever you got planned, it's not working tonight. Baby, all I want to do is say I'm sorry. You haven't seen sorry yet, but one day you will. You remember, no sin goes unjust, and every action has a reaction. And even though you don't see him, the good Lord is always watching. And believe me when I say, you will reap the consequences for the seed you sow. Monica, wait. <coughs> Leave me, I'm gonna take my life because I don't want to live in this world without you. If you don't shut your mouth, what do you think? My life is a movie? Every day you come to me with these scripted Shakespeare novels. I got one for you. Roses are red, violets are blue. <laughs> Marcus, I'm sick of you. I'm getting a divorce. And that's final. Monica! 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 in here. I'm just doing some work on the computer. Oh, I bet you were. Anyways, I need to talk to you. Yeah, what's going on? You know I love you, right? And I will do anything for you. Yeah, I feel the same way about you. Over the last couple of months, I've learned something. You're the only one I got. You're the only one who truly loves me. Monica, is something wrong? I've just decided I'm just gonna get a divorce. I know you said to wait, but it's the right thing to do. I am done. I can't even look at Marcus with a straight face. Did you try talking to him? It's no point. He's all sweet talks and nothing behind it. He needs to become a poet because he's good at it. So you just gotta call it quits, huh? Do you know how long until you divorce him? I'm actually gonna get a lawyer and get the paperwork started. I am very serious about this. I am done. Monica, are you sure you're gonna be okay being alone? I would never be alone because I have you. Were you still looking for a new apartment? Yeah, I was actually just working on that. The job I applied for is actually setting up an interview for me. That's good. Why do you ask? Because I was thinking you could live here with me permanently. Are you sure? Yes, that would make me happy. Soon Marcus will be gone once the divorce is final. And we'll have the house to ourselves. I think mom would like that. I think she would like it too. How about we go and visit her grave tomorrow after I get off from work? Yeah, I love that. I haven't seen her in so long. Let's make it a sister's date with mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you finish doing what you were doing. I'm gonna go take a shower. Oh, hey, Maya called today. What does she want? I don't know, I guess she's just trying to figure out why you're mad at her. This girl is such a pretender. She knows why I'm mad at her. What exactly did she say? She was just digging and trying to get information. I guess she's just trying to figure out how much you know about her and Marcus's relationship. What did you tell her? I just told her I was busy and I had to go. It's hard to believe someone from our teenage years would do something like that, but calls her herself your best friend. It's okay. I'm gonna go take a shower. Soon they will both be out of my life and I won't have nothing to worry about. <coughs> Where is he? I thought you said he was never late. Look, he'll be here, I promise. <coughs> I don't know, Marcus. I feel like we should quit while we're ahead. Things are getting out of hand. Look. 
I put too much into this. I came too far to lose everything. We are going through with this. I don't know. Something in my gut is telling me that something's gonna go very wrong. <clears throat> look, look, look. Do you trust me? Yeah, but... If you trust me, you allow me to finish what I started, okay? We're gonna have the best life ever. Nothing's gonna go wrong. We'll be able to get the house that you want. You'll be able to drive the car that you want. And who knows, we might be able to have a kid or two. Wow, well, that does sound nice. Okay, but what if... I, no, no, I... There is no if, only when. Okay, I guess I trust you then. And that's all I'm asking for. Who you calling? Ron, I'm trying to see where this dude is at. Maybe this is a sign. Maybe we should quit. This is gonna work, okay? Whatever, Marcus. Marcus. Marcus, stop playing with me right now. I'm not in the mood. Marcus, stop playing with me. Marcus. Marcus, wake up. Oh my god, Marcus. Marcus, wake up. Oh my god. So, I filed your paperwork with the state. Um, all I need right now is your signature here, here, and here. And we should be good to go. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. So how long will it take before the divorce is final? Well, that's a little unpredictable. If he tries to fight it, it could take some time. If not, it'd be a quick and easy process. Let me ask you something, Ms. Marco. You think he'll try to fight it? There ain't no telling what he might do. Marcus is not the man that I married. He is not the man that I knew. So, I wouldn't put anything past him. What's the worst that could happen? Well, he could fight you for your house. He could take half of what you have. And he could hold up the divorce process. And if you don't give him a divorce, then we will have to take him to court. But Miss Monica, I promise we'll do everything in our power to make sure I don't get to that. Thank you. Actually, thank you. We'll be in touch Monday with the updates. Thank you so much. Thank you. This number. 
Hello? How may I help you? Good evening. Am I speaking with Monica Taylor? Who am I speaking with? This is Dr. Emmanuel Bull. Yes, this is Monica Taylor. May I help you? Is your husband named... Marcus Taylor? Yes. Why? Your husband is at Fort Hood Medical Center. We'd like for you to come into the hospital. What? Why? There was a call and your husband passed out. He's now unconscious. Okay, okay. I'll be there right away, doctor. Thank you. If you leave me, I'm gonna take my life. Hello? Stephanie, you won't believe what happened. What? What's going on? What happened? I just got a call that Marcus is in the hospital, and he's unconscious. What? What happened to him? I don't know. They, they wouldn't say. They just told me he was unconscious. He did say that if I tried to leave him, he would try to kill himself. I wonder if he really tried to kill himself. Oh my God, Monica, that's no good. Can we meet at the hospital? I would love to, Monica, but I can't right now. I'm out running errands. But I can come out later. Okay. Let me go by there. And I'll call you as soon as I know something. All right. Just keep me updated, please, okay? Okay, sis. I love you. I love you, too. What's wrong? I just left the hospital. Okay. And I need to talk to you about something. Okay. You want to come in? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. What happened? Why were you at the hospital? It's Marcus. He's in a coma. Oh, my God. What happened? He has AIDS, Maya. He has AIDS. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry. I just came to tell you so you could go get yourself checked. Because if he has AIDS, I know you do too. Monica, what are you talking about? Stop, Maya. Drop the act. I know you've messed around with Marcus. I saw his car parked in your driveway. I just want you to go get checked out, all right? In my driveway? I'm not messing with Marcus. And why would his car be in my driveway? I don't understand. Look, I'm tired. It's been a long day. And I'm not up for the back and forth or the lies. H hold on. When did you see his car in my driveway? And what time was this? On Valentine's Day, around 7 to 8 p.m. Give me a second. The hell? What, what? He didn't come to you? N no. And that's what I was trying to tell you. I didn't know what you were talking about. Well, where did he go? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna call you in the morning. I'm so sorry. Look, it's getting late anyway, so maybe you should just stay tonight. But I don't have any clothes or anything. I'll just go home. And that's okay. You know, I can go upstairs and get in the shower and get all cleaned up. And I could just give you something to sleep in. Okay. Okay, come on.
Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Stephanie. On. How could you do this to me? Uh, I just hooked up with some guy at the door one time and this is what happened. Don't you dare lie to me. I just came from the hospital. Marcus is in a coma because he has had AIDS for so long. He didn't even know. And it went untreated. Sis, please, I can explain everything to you. Yes, definitely. Please explain to me how my sister is sleeping with my husband while standing up under my roof because she ain't got nowhere to stay. I took care of you. I provided for you. And this is how you repay me by sleeping with my husband? Marcus started it. I'm not surprised he started it. Marcus is a dog. And that's why he is where he is. But you're my sister. I was going through a lot. I was scared and I felt broken. I was all alone and you and Marcus had this really good thing going and I was just depressed. Marcus started coming to my room every night and started doing things that made me feel more comfortable and then it just happened and I know it was wrong and I wanted to stop but I just couldn't fight the temptation. He come to your room at night? Stephanie, we live in the same house. How could he come to your room? I see him every night. How could he come to your room? He would park down the street and walk over to the house and I would just let him in through the back door. So that's why he's parked in Maya's driveway. So you let me accuse Maya of sleeping with my husband? Oh my God. Monica, if I could take it back, you know I would. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I don't even know how I should feel right now. Do you understand what I was going through while you were around here sneaking around my husband? My blood pressure was high. I couldn't think straight. I couldn't even focus at work. Stephanie, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you trying to give me a heart attack or are you trying to kill me? He was trying to I kill me. I can't believe. Wait, what? He was planning on getting you killed. What do you mean he was plotting on killing me? Marcus hired a hitman to kill you so he could get a big payout on your insurance policy. But he said to wait a few months so it doesn't fall back on us. So you were going along with this? I'm sorry, I was lost. So why am I not dead? Marcus wanted to do it sooner, but the hitman advised us to let a few months go by. This is just the dumbest thing ever. Don't y'all know this would just lead right back to y'all? You get an insurance policy on your wife and she mysteriously dies later? They had it all planned out. Me and Marcus were going to be out of the country and they were going to make it look like a robbery and get you killed. So you guys had just fully planned out? Do you understand what you're saying to me? Do you even hear yourself? You sitting here plotting with my husband to kill me. Your sister. I am your only sister. I am the only family that you have. You're the only family that I have. And you planning to kill me? We should.
should be one working together. I know, and I'm really sorry. Really. You know what, Stephanie? I've had enough. I can't do this anymore. I want you out of my life. I want you gone. You are like poison. You need to leave my house. Ever since we were kids, you had this personality. I am done. This explains why you don't have anything in life and why you won't never be nothing in life. You always have to fall on me for support because all you do is curse people. All you do is plot how to conquer and control so nothing will ever work out for you. The wicked has no favors in God. Get out of my house! Sis, come on, you know I don't have anywhere else to go. I don't care! I'm gonna book you a room for tonight. And I'm gonna help you find a place. It's only because I know that would make mom happy. I know she is not happy about this. I'm gonna help you get somewhere to stay. But that's it. I'm done after that. And the pregnancy is Marcus. Yes. I'm so sorry that you're sick. I have a doctor that's working with me and he, he can help treat you too. I'm not sick. How? You reap what you sow. I haven't had sex with Marcus in over a year. A little bit after you moved in, we stopped having sex because of his behavior and personality changed. It's sad that I have to see you like this. <sighs> Things could have been different, Marcus. Things could have been good. We could have been good. But you, you chose what you chose and you got what you got. you. I begged you. I showed you unconditional love. You never stopped. You kept going. You just never listened. All I ever wanted was to love you, Marcus. That's all I ever wanted. Yesterday, it was Stephanie's funeral. Not sure if you know or not. She committed suicide. She just couldn't take it. Even though I told her that I had given up on her, I still tried to help her. I did everything I could. But her demons were, were way more than I could fight. She jumped in front of a moving vehicle. It killed her on the spot. My sister, the only thing I had left. Holy sister, the only thing I had left. It's 
I'm all alone now, Marcus. I don't have anybody. You're gone, she's gone, mom's gone. You guys plotting to kill me, I thought was the worst, but this? The pain I'm feeling from your betrayal, my sister's betrayal, and in her death, is unbearable. It's like I'm living in agony. But I'm not worried. Because I know God. And the God I serve will rescue me. The God I serve will make me happy again. And the God I serve will make me smile. This will be the last time you see me, Marcus. I'm moving out of town. I'm restoring my life. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the luck. And I hope that you're satisfied now. I hope you're comfortable. And I hope you're happy now. We have been together for three years now. And even though the time has been short, I feel like I've known you my entire life. I have loved, but I have not known a love like this before. I've been happy, but I've never smiled as bright as I do now. To say I love you is underrated. And the words to explain how I feel about you is in heaven and not yet known to me. I was broken and you made my life whole again. Darren McKnight, you were the one created for my life and I love you. When I met you, I was not searching for love. I was just a man with selfish desires. But the moment I lay eyes on you, the first time I heard your voice, the first time I saw your smile, time stopped. And within that moment, no other feeling has ever felt that sweet. I know you've been broken. I know you've been torn. But to mend your heart for the rest of my life that I sworn. A strong, beautiful woman that you are. It's more than some men could even understand. I promise you today, as long as I live, you will never lose your smile. You will never lose your peace. You will never have to cry again. I'll be your strength when you're weak, and I'll be your comfort when you're weary. Loving you wasn't a choice that I made. It was destiny, written by God, an unbreakable band. It's the strongest love known 
to woman and man. You may kiss the block. What's going on right now? Um, some I thought you put in Cameron as the doctor, not a mic guy anymore. Yep. That's, that's what happened. Gave him a whole profession. Yep. This now he's morning, making more than six figures. This morning he woke up, he was a audio guy. He was a doctor. He didn't even know what oh, was Oh, hello. <laughs> you may recognize me from such shows as Vid Chronicles. And <laughs> <laughs> here, I'm, today, I'm here today to talk to you about prostate health. What you need to do to check today. Be sure to check your breasts for lumps. Even men can get cancer. <laughs> but you must be there. I do not have HIV. He goes by <laughs> by the looks of it, you do. I was taking detox. My daddy told me to help. <laughs> <laughs> there was my daddy. <laughs> I'm tired. Me too. I don't have camera energy right now. It's okay. I swear to God. <laughs> don't be swearing to Jesus. I know, that's all I can swear to this guy. You look more like a medical student though. Like, you're still up and coming. And like, I'm, just, I'm just a cool young He's guy, right? Yeah, yeah. Is it where bees and Yeah, I wear bees, bees and Oh, we're looking. Okay. There was a call. Yeah. He is now unconscious. There was a call, your husband is now passed out. Like, there's go here. So, so, what's up? How's it working with this February Valentine's man, Day special, man? It's so awesome, man. So awesome. The, the character I'm playing is not the best character. You know, he cheats, he does all this stuff, but you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm cheating on my wife with her sister. Ooh. Not good. Ooh. That's a, that's a tough one. That's a real tough one. I don't know why you did that man like that. Did y'all hear? Was no, let me tell you how you threw the plate. Let me tell you how to throw that plate. No, not, no, not throw it like a football. Hey, hey, are y'all putting that in the movie? Yes. It is in my defense. Mario, Mario. Very tough. Yeah, all right. Bring them tears up, Mama. I need tears. Trying to think of a word that will be obvious to start with P. Pickle. Hey, it's not all. It's not all. Just how do you feel about the whole concept of the of the whole film? For me, this is truly a blessing. Like, I don't know. I was just shocked to get the call, and then once I got the call, I was just like, okay, this is what we're doing. <laughs> 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 like, oh, hey, the marker. You mean it. Damn, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. I'm not worried about it. Put the moon ball. Yeah, we could just put it in her high directly because she's a G like that. I'm just gonna say, 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 I'm Yep, walk off. Gotcha. Yes! You get what I'm saying? I know you act like that. Oh, me? I'm an actor. Yes! I'm an actor. I'm an actor, boy. Let's go. I heard it.